Hallelujah to Jesus. We give God a praise. Let God be glorified in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. This is God's own channel with Evangelist Sarah. You are welcome. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless every member of this household. It is well with you, Jesus. Love you. And I love you. Please, family, like this video, share, subscribe. Tell somebody about this ministry. God bless you. As you do that, in the name of Jesus Christ, amen, hallelujah, glory to Jesus. I want you to know that of a truth, God knows. Yeah, because to this person, you will say that it is only God that knows what you have been through. You know, you, you can't, even when somebody is trying to talk about your experience or bring messages to your experience to what you are you are like it is only God yes I agree with you it is only God that truly know what you have been through and that same God that knows what you have been through that same God is coming true for you hallelujah when you want to talk about family friends betrayal jobs environment you know what has happened in the place where you find yourself as you are in this life you know when you want to talk about it eh, it's like you, you are just going to say it is only god it is only god because there is no word that can really explain or express perfectly what you have been through in this life it is only god that knows it is only god that sees it because he is the all-knowing god he is the God that knows everything. Hallelujah. The Bible said the eyes of the Lord go to and fro through the whole earth with a twinkle of an eye. He is God. You understand? He knows. Of a truth, he knows. Your pastor might not understand even when you try to explain. You know, your man of God, your woman of God, the spiritual leader that you thought, okay, you know, might not be able to give you understand what you have been through so far in this life but it is only god and that god is coming true for you hallelujah glory to jesus after so many incidents in life as as i after so many incidents in life the incident in life that has happened to you it is even enough for you to say i don't want to help anyone I don't want to listen anymore. I don't want to hear what they have to say. I don't give a damn about who is preaching, who is not preaching. I don't care if there is God. If you want to look at it, but there you are, you are still saying it is only God. You are not, you are still saying it is only God. That is to say that even in your little strength, you still hold on to the Lord. There you are, you are still doing good. The Bible said everywhere Jesus went, he was doing good. Despite all that he was going through, the Bible said everywhere that Jesus went, he left a mark. He was doing good. So you are just following the full, you are following in the footstep of Christ. Like no matter what you have seen in this life so far, that you will do good. That you will do good. Still saying it is only good, it is only God. It is good. You know, when we talk about people doing good, they are like, ah, maybe those ones that give money, oh, those ones that have clothes to give, no. For you to still stand and say, ah, it has been only God. That is to say, you are still doing good. You are still leaving a positive mark on this earth in the midst of all the chaos, in the midst of all the too much and too much and too much incident that has happened in your life. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Glory our Father. We try more and more to be, to act like God, you know, to follow in His footsteps, to do what He asks us to do. You understand? No matter what life throws at us, we are like, it is only God. To that person that has been saying, it is only God, God is using me to tell you that that same only God is coming true for you. It's coming true for you. Hallelujah. The Bible, the Bible says in the book of Psalm, the book of Psalm chapter 27, the Bible says, The Lord is my light and my salvation. Say, whom shall I fear? Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Whom shall I 
be afraid. In verse 2, the Bible says, When the wicked, even my enemies and my foes, came upon me to eat up my flesh, they stumbled and fell. It is only God that saves you when they come upon you. It is only God that delivers you when the journey becomes so tough. It is only God that was there when they wanted to eat up your flesh. But because it was only God, they stumbled and they fell. Hallelujah. The Bible said, Though an host will camp against me, say, My heart shall not fear. He said, Though war, he said, Though war should rise against me, in this will I be confident. This is what I'm talking about. For somebody to have been through everything that you have been through, you are still all about doing good. You are still all about doing good. You are still all about following the footsteps of Jesus. It takes a real warrior to do that. You are, you are an army for the Lord. You are a warrior for the Lord. You are a soldier in the, in, in, among the children of God. Hallelujah. You are a soldier that people will see and they will have comfort. They will have that comfort of security. Yes, they know that, oh, you are there to protect them. Hallelujah. Only God knows and only God can really, can really, really knows everything. Because I keep telling myself, if God did not show me anything, I can't see it. All I have to do is to focus in his word. Because in his word we see. In his word we prophesy. In his word, all that we are looking for is in the word of God. When you, you see people now contaminating their journey because they want to see what they are not supposed to see. If God did not reveal anything to you, child of God, use the Bible and pray. The Bible is prophecy. Yeah. The Bible is prophecy. In the process of trying to hear everything, many believers, many gifts got corrupted. Hallelujah. It is only God that is aware of what you have been through. But to you that is hearing me right now, that same God is coming through. He said, Though a host should encamp against me, my heart shall not fear. Though war should rise up, rise against me, say, In this will I be confident. One thing have I desire of the Lord that I will seek after, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life. All the days of my life. To behold the beauty of the Lord and to inquire in his temple. To behold the beauty of the Lord. You will behold the beauty of the Lord. In that ugly story that you, when you want to say, you are like, just forget about that story. Let's just move on. You know, there are some times like that you don't want to talk about some certain things. I know how that feels because you don't even know where to start from. You don't know how to expl explain it, what you have been through in this life. You don't know. But hear me, you will never, you know, you will never look at, look at, look as, is it, yes, you will never look as those situations that you have been through so far. Because there is a God in heaven. There is a God in heaven and this God has beauty. Because you believe in the Lord, you dwell in the house of the Lord, you shall behold the beauty of the Lord. Yes, evangelist, say that you don't understand. I know. I don't understand. It is okay. But God understands. Evangelist, say that you cannot imagine how it is. You have not been in my shoe before. I know. I may not have been in your shoe, but God knows how your shoe is. Evangelist, say that it's easy for you to say, why will you say this? I understand. I might not understand how you feel. But all I need you to know is that there is a God in heaven that come true for those that hold on to him. And that God is coming true for you. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Glory Abba Father. You cannot do good and end up in regret. The Bible says he is a rewarder of those. Whatever they do, he reward them. He reward people when they sow, they reap what they sow. That is whom God is. That is whom God is. Child of God, God is coming true for you because that only God that you are calling, 
that you said he's the only one that knows everything about you. That God is not dead and that God is coming true for you. It is well with you, Jesus. Love you. And I love you with the love of Christ. I remain your sister, Evangelist Sarah. By the grace of God, I will see you again. Bye-bye.